Hi, it's John McGivern. Do you know where I'm standing? No. Dwayne, pull out. <laughs> now you know. We're underneath the humpback whale on the grand staircase at the Milwaukee Public Museum. They've allowed me free range in the museum today. This is going to be fun. Milwaukee Public Museum, one of the jewels and the cultural crown of this community that we call Milwaukee. Come on, I'm going to show you around. This is going to be great. The streets of old Milwaukee created my first memories in the Milwaukee Public Museum. What was on that street? Schlitz Brewery, Usinger Sausage, Northwestern Mutual, and Grandma on the Porch. <laughs> Where is that street? Remember the favorite part? Rushing up that escalator so you could be the first to... It's the steak. Looks like blood. You okay? Talk about a room with a view. <laughs> okay, I'd like two apples and a lemon and maybe a set of Guatemalan soup dishes. How are you? Are you listening to me? <laughs> Do you take American? <laughs> Homemade sunglasses? I need to be more crafty. Okay, is this a single family or a duplex? Bernie, sit. If you grew up the same time I did, you know Samson. I am waiting for him to pound on this glass like he did at the zoo. We are here on a Monday, just so you know, and we're here with, with hundreds and hundreds of kids. They're in here having the best time, and in the end, what they're doing is learning. We have about 450,000 visitors a year. Oh. 175,000 of those are kids, so the rest are not kids. They're adults, they're teenagers, they're people like me and you who kind of define that term, lifelong learning. So what, what's the real purpose of the Milwaukee Public Museum? Like, why, why, why is it here? Well, we are here to bring natural and human history to life for the community and beyond. In fact, the region, the state, and maybe the country. How long have you been here? I've been here for about five and a half years. And you saw some trials and tribulations in the past, Indeed. and we've been doing well for how long? We've been doing well for at least the last three years, and yeah. we really are looking forward now. We're not looking back anymore Good. because we are we are uh, recovered, and yeah. now we are among the best, and I happen to think we are the best. Okay. I'm the butterfly whisperer. We were in trouble five years ago. Very bad things were happening here, and we realized we had to bring something new to the table, yet keep our mission in place. So these exhibits that we bring in are bringing people back that haven't been here for a while, bringing people that have never been here. So it's, it's creating a lot of excitement and more attendance and just all good things for the museum. And we have many more scheduled to come, and it's exhibits like the Dead Sea Scrolls that has really helped to turn this place around, although only with the help of our community. It's the love for the museum which has helped us stay afloat. Press your penny into a souvenir design so you put a penny in and 50 cents. I've never paid 50 cents for a penny before. We needed a key to come to the sixth floor. This is the sixth floor where nobody's allowed but staff. Hello, behind the scenes. We're in the taxidermy center here at Milwaukee Public Museum with Wendy christensen Sink, who is a, the taxidermist artist on staff, and she is the only taxidermist here. Is that right? That's correct. How many pieces are there in, in the Milwaukee Public Museum? As we walk through, we see a lot. I believe we have about 5,000 mounted birds, animals, and fish and herps in this museum. Uh, not all of them are on display. Many are in our storage and in our collections, but uh, we have a good number on display. And you're in charge of all of them? Yep, pretty much. Doing, <laughs> for repairing. doing okay? <laughs> it's a busy job. I bet it is. You created Samson, is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you just won. What did you win? I, I, I just want them to know. <laughs> um, I entered him in the World Taxidermy Championships, and I won Best in the World Recreation and Best of Show, and basically, I am the world champion. <laughs> so look who I'm sitting with. So there. Congratulations Thank on that. You. you do a great job, and we're really grateful that you allowed us up to the sixth floor and allowed Thank us you. to invade your space with <laughs> all of this incredible stuff. It's a 125 year old, um, uh, Wendy, what is this? Andean condor. It's, yeah, it's a condor from where? The Andes. From the Andes. <laughs> Andean condor. I was like, Andy and condor. I didn't know what that meant. You make me feel handsome. 
My first visit was in 1965. I've been coming to this museum for 45 years. Every time I come, I think, oh, this is better than the last time. Such a great place.